And aides to former Vice President Mike Pence told the House January 6th committee Thursday that the conservative lawyer John Eastman pressured Pence to reject certification of the 2020 election. Last night, the Washington Post first reported that there were emails obtained by the committee between John Eastman, who authored that blueprint for a coup, as many critics have called it, uh, with and he, Eastman was corresponding with Ginny Thomas. Well, I think the emails are, are fascinating. First of all, the email from John Eastman to uh, Cheesebro, which is saying that he and, and John quite rightly uh, was pressing uh, Congressman Raskin about it, that there seemed to be some back channel because he's talking about a big fight inside the Supreme Court. And then Cheesebro writes back and says, well, you know, maybe they would rule on this would be a challenge to the Wisconsin results uh, if they were worried. And this is all prospective. It's before January 6th, if they were worried about violence on January 6th. So it does seem uh, the, the congressman, as a member of the committee, was understandably coy about it, that, you know, the idea that they're even talking about violence on January 6th sounds like they're saying the quiet part out loud. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And Chris Wallace, the only reasonable human being that was on Fox News, weighed in yesterday on the emails between sham lawyers Eastman and Chesborough. These two clowns knew exactly the sort of violence that was going to go down on January the 6th before the bloody events transpired. And while these jackaloons got caught by their digital footprints, honestly, this was not a concealed ploy by the far right at all. These morons planned well in advance. T-shirts were made up. Little plots were cooked up in mother's basements of these far-right lunatics. They went to Washington for one reason, and it's the same stupid reason they worship this festering orange mountain of mucus. Blind hatred. These idiots are incapable of civilized activity. Gathering these crazies from all of the darkest corners of Magaland was never going to lead to anything safe, civilized, or sensible. Eastman, I don't remember why he called me. He's in a or he texted me or called me, wanted to talk with me, and he said he couldn't reach others. And he started to ask me about something dealing with Georgia and preserving something potentially for appeal. Uh, and I said to him, are you out of your effing mind? Right? I said, I said, I only want to hear two words coming out of your mouth for now on. Orderly transition. Now I'm going to give you the best free legal advice you're ever getting in your life. Get a great FN criminal defense lawyer. You're going to need it. And then I hung up on him. And these grifting fleabag lawyers knew that. All of them knew it. These MAGA morons were human gasoline, and the Republicans who owned them simply lit the match, knowingly and willingly. Yesterday's hearings focused a lot on how the MAGA morons turned on Mike Pence at the direction of their Fuhrer. Trump didn't care if these people killed Mike Pence, and he sure didn't care if they killed Capitol Police, or even one another for that matter. That's a clinical narcissist for you. The bloated, rotten orange has only ever taken action for himself. He couldn't be happy that you morons put him in office so he could play golf on your dime, so he could cut his own taxes, and so he could manipulate things to keep his free lunch and himself out of debt in prison as long as you blind, inept imbeciles kept propping him up as your god. Are we going to let these criminal blackmailers, exploiters, and scam artists pillage America at the real? Are money launderers and con artists a new politician to get elected with the full unwavering support of the Republican Party? Because that's who's licking their chops right now. There are a thousand dirty criminals looking at these events and seeing a portion of the American public that are complete suckers. And they see opportunity in that. If voters are stupid enough, public office becomes an immunity, a get-out-of-jail-free card a place where money does grow on trees, and you can pull from the public coffers all you like. Because they see that people are too dumb to recognize blatant criminal abuse when they see it. In fact, they're so dumb that they'll not only vote for those criminals, but worship them, drive 800 miles, and throw their lives away in treason and violence for them. And that's what it really comes down to, people. It's up to the public to prosecute these jackasses. Because I tell you, if on November the 9th I wake up and even one member of the treason caucus is reelected anywhere in this country, I'm going to puke. To cast your vote for crime, corruption, treason is so far beyond stupid. It's an embarrassment to every person who's ever lived in this nation. And I don't want to see any eligible voter miss the polls this November. Find a way. Help a friend. Register someone. You know, get involved. Volunteer. Spread the word. Defend our democracy while it still happens. Sappers clear the way. Everyone always.